Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can handle switching between the different uh, browser windows if your application uh, needs to be switching uh, in different windows and then working on different you know tabs or windows and uh, performing certain operation then how you can switch among those windows and then come back to the parent window so we'll learn all about that in this particular tutorial this is very very important concept and will be required a lot of time whenever you are doing the actual you know um, application uh, automation in your organizations because uh, you know the applications nowadays so will will have the capability or the functionality wherein when you click on something it might open in a new window and then you have to perform certain operation on the new window and then come back to the parent window to to do the verification and so switching between you know like frame handling the alerts and switching between the windows it's very common when you start working in the automation and to know how to handle all these things it is very important so if you haven't watched my previous tutorials on how to handle alerts and the frames please go through and watch those tutorials first before you go ahead and watch this windows uh, switching between windows tutorial now to show you an example of the switching between windows i'll take a website uh, salesforce.com so here you will see that say for example you are testing salesforce website right um so you'll you'll verify a lot of things on uh, you know the web interface and uh, then say for example you want to verify that if you click on start my free trial you see that it's opening in a new tab or a new window right so you want to test the functionality that whenever a person clicks on start my free trial then you need to uh, enter the detail and submit uh, or start the free trial after submitting all these details so how you can you know handle all these things in the selenium script now by default say for example if you are a manual tester you are on this particular page you will click on start my free trial right it will open the free trial page right you will enter all the details so basically what you have done you have switched your control manually to this particular window right and then you have clicked on first name last name you'll type in all these details and then you'll you know click on start my free trial now selenium doesn't know that it has to you know come to this window unless until you tell specifically that you have to uh, switch from this window the default window that that got open uh, to the new window and then start typing in the details in the new window and start interacting with the new window and that is the reason why window switching or uh, switching between windows is required and you need to specifically handle that in your selenium script now let's see how we can handle that so i'll go to eclipse i'll simply copy this old um, uh, class which i used for the frame and we'll rename it to um, handling windows right and let's open it and i'll remove all the things from here except um, this get url so what we'll do is i'll open salesforce this time right and then in order to open a new window i have to click on start my free trial okay so this command will open salesforce and then we have to find the inspector or uh, the web element that will click so let's find the locator for start my free trial so just right click and click on inspect and so here let's use this so just hover over this button and you can see that it has been highlighted right so just right click and we'll copy the x path okay so now what we have to do is we have to click on this button and when we'll click on this button then it will open a new window right so we'll say find by x path we have copied the x path and i'll just paste the x path so don't worry about uh, this x path we are just uh, trying to 
learn uh, window switching so i'll just keep it as default we won't simplify it but if we want to learn about the complex x parts please visit my previous tutorial which are in the same you know playlist uh, which will help you to learn se uh, selenium css selector and x path in lot more detail so you'll be able to write dynamic uh, css selector and x path for any web element on the web page so just follow those tutorial really really helpful and then we'll click on this particular button okay all right so this will basically what it will do is it will click on the start my free trial and then once you click on start my free trial it will redirect to this particular page and then on new page i have to type in the first name and last name right so let's inspect the first name attribute uh, or the web element and see the attribute there so there is a name attribute which has the value so i'll simply use the name there and i'll say driver dot find element by name and provide the name string okay so i'll paste the name string and then i'll type in something so i'll say send keys and i'll provide the string that i want to type i'll type in rcv similarly for the last name okay i'll use the same name attribute let's see what the attribute is for the last name i'll close it and inspect the last name web element and there is a name attribute which is user last name i'll safely copy it and use this name attribute for the last name and i'll type in academy in the last name okay let's save it and see what will happen when we run this okay so let me put some weight here as well so i'll put hard weight um you can't put hard weight when you are practicing but we'll uh, learn a lot more detail about the weights um, and synchronization in upcoming tutorials so do not use these sort of weight in your actual scripts when you are working in any of the projects because this is not a good practice and you shouldn't be using it uh, unless and until you are just you know um, learning or debugging your script okay so because we are learning i'm you know teaching you how to handle windows so i'm using these weights so that you can see that you know the window opens and then you know you can, you can see the click happening so that is why i'm using these hard weights so um, let's run it and see what happens when we execute this particular script so this will open salesforce.com it will click on the button and then let's see what happens okay so there you can see that the new window got opened okay and then there is an exception okay and what exception so let's see it so it uh, shows that uh, there is an error at line 21 click on it and what is the error so it's not able to find this web element right so um, you know it went the the reason for that is if you open the uh, you know um, sorry if we open the console again right so here if you scroll up you will see that the error is unable to locate element right so it's not able to find the element with the name user first name and the reason for that is because once the window open right so once the window open this is the window so by default the focus is on the first window so the web driver is controlling or the focus is on this particular window when we clicked on this window the by default the focus doesn't switch to the new window so we have to manually switch the focus to the new window and then start interacting with the web elements that are present on the new window and how we can do it there is a method in selenium web driver which is get window handles right so if we visit the documentation again right here and go to the web driver interface right the root um, so we'll go to the web driver and then there was a method switch to right which you have been using for alerts for frames and same method for handling multiple windows so if you you know go to switch to what it returns it returns the target locator 
and that's the interface right web driver target locator and then target locator has the methods which has the window as well and um, when we click on uh, this window so you can see that it switch the focus of future command for this driver to the new window okay by the given name or handle so you can give window handle or name and the focus will be switched to the new window okay and if we go to the detail you can see that this is the method that we'll be using to get the handles okay so you can use the get window handles to get the handle and then actually work with those windows so let's use this method so what we'll do is we'll see driver dot get window handles right so get window handle will return the handle for the current window and get window handles if you see if you hover over you will see what it returns it returns a set okay and set containing a string string uh, in that particular set so it's a collection and it's similar to list the difference is that in the list you can have duplicate elements but in set it can't have duplicate and this makes sense in this particular case because if there are you know like 10 windows open and if the if you allow you know like duplicate values in a, in you know a set then how will you identify which is the unique window for which uh, tab that is open right so in the, that's it that is why it has been uh, identified or it has been defined as set so we can store it as set of string okay and then we'll say windows okay so this is the variable where we'll store all the window handles okay and import java util all right let's print and see how the window handles look so we'll simply print the we'll simply say window handles okay so that it's all right so it will print the window handles okay now we have got the window handle so when we say window handles it will get all the handles for all the windows that are open okay it will return the set of window handles which can be used to iterate over okay so in this case it will return the two window handles because once we open uh, you know this salesforce.com and click on start my free trial there is a new window that gets open right so there are two windows so it will return two window handles now how we can iterate over the windows that are open right so it will return a set of uh, you know window handles but we need to find the window handle where we want to switch right so to do there is a iterator class in java okay so if we simply say iterator or in this case say window handles okay so this is the uh, set okay on this particular set i can use the iterator so we'll say window handles dot iterate okay and this is the iterator that we can utilize and if you hover over so this is basically it returns an iterator over the elements in the set okay and this iterator will utilize to iterate over this particular the window handles that are stored in the set so we'll say window handles dot iterator and, and then what it returns it returns the iterator of strings right so we can simply store it iterator string and we'll say iterator okay so and then import java util all right so this is the variable that we can use to iterate through this particular set okay. now before we go ahead i'll explain you how this iterator will work say for example um you have you know say in this case there will be two window right so there is a parent window and the child window so there is a parent window that gets open when we launch um the url salesforce url and then there is a child window when we say start my free trial okay now what this iterator will do is iterator basically you know will say um, sit at here and then when you'll say iterate uh, dot next it will 
go and say for example this is the set right so get window handles will store the window handles for parent and child window okay so you know this particular section will have the handle for the parent window and this section will have the um, handle for the child window now iterator will iterate through this particular set so this is your set okay now iterator will iterate through the set and when you'll say iterator dot next then it will get the window handle for this parent window and then when you will again iterate dot next it will get the window handle for the child window and will give you you can store it as a string okay so that's what iterator will do and if there are more than two windows then similarly you can you know like keep iterating and you can store it accordingly in the variable so in this case what we'll do is so now we have uh, this iterator here so what we'll do is we'll say iterator dot next all right so what this will return is this will return if you hover over it will return a string right so we can store the window handle for the first window which is the parent window into a string and i'll say parent window i'll name it as a parent window variable okay and then the child window if we say again iterator dot next then it will iterate to the next you know uh, element in the set which is the child right and then we can store it in the child window string variable okay and now we can use these you know uh, window handles the parent window and child window handles to switch among the parent window and child window okay so now what we can do is we can simply say driver dot switch to okay dot window right and then we have to provide the name or handle so now we know the parent window handle is stored in the parent window and child window handle is stored in the child window variable okay so i'll simply copy child window variable because i want to switch on the child window and child window contains these elements right and so it will type in these values in the child window and our test will be successful so let's run this and see the results so it will this time it should switch to the new child window and type in these details in the form so it's opening the browser it clicked on the new window and on the new window it should type in first name and last name yep so you can see now the first name rc uh, and the last name academy has been typed in successfully on the child window okay so let's um, do one more thing now let's type in the handles for the parent window okay and the child window right so i'll just type in uh, sys out for the parent window and similarly sys out for the child window so we know uh, which one is the parent window and which one is the child window and after typing in, in in these details i'll switch back to the parent window okay so what what we'll do is we'll say driver dot switch to dot window and i want to switch back to the parent window so i'll simply copy the variable parent window and it should switch back sorry this one window and it should switch back to the parent window and we should be able to see it so let's run it again and see the results so this time it will type in all the details come to um, you know parent window back Yep, so you can see it quickly typed in and then uh, again the focus is back on this particular tab, right? And if you go to uh, go to the console, you can see that the set, so the first set that we printed out, window handles, right? So it printed out um, the details there. So if you see that, you know, um, if we open the console here, so you can see that the set contains these two window handles 
and then the parent window right which is basically bc76 and the child window bc37 got printed right separately these two strings so that's how the window handles uh, you know are and how you can you know use your selenium script and the methods available in selenium web driver to handle switching between the windows so that's pretty much all about this switching windows in selenium web driver tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching